It's supposed to rain tomorrow. I may look like I don't know what I'm doing. And that would pretty much be correct. Mm. Good morning. It's freezing. <laughs> I came outside with a jumper and a and a like a long sleeve top on underneath and it's freezing, so I'm going back in to get a jacket. Alright, so I've got I've got a jacket on and I've stolen a pair of Aaron's socks. So I'm gonna go back outside because I have some veggies to plant. Let's go have a look and see how the peas are going. Oh wow! Yeah. And they've doubled in size since last weekend. Oh look, we got little flowers coming up. Now what do we got over here? Time to work the soil. We bought bags of mushroom compost. Just be careful what brands you get. I'm not going to out the brand we got, there's no point, but um, you got to be careful because we've got like these huge nuggets of like clay. It's terrible as like this. I could make a pot out of this, it's like real clay. And then there's like, there's like. Are you walking the aisles, are you, matey? Yeah, I was walking. <gasps> All right, you show me. Okay, so we don't have power here. So we've set up the generator, which I'll show you in a tick. And we're going to try and water the beds. I've hooked up the sprinkler. And if everything works properly, then we should have water in our garden. I'm going to try, I read this on Pinterest. Coffee, good source of nitrogen. And smells good. Okay, not yet. We'll keep going, okay? Sometimes it takes about six to 10, so let's see how we go. We're just putting the topsoil down so we can put our little babies into it. I was pushing the barrow full of dirt up the hill and I crogged out halfway. I'm like, I can do it. I couldn't figure out why. And you know what? It's 3.30 and I haven't eaten. That's it. I need to eat and I need a coffee and then good to go. Okay. Not looking too promising. Ah, that feels a lot better. So. It is now. Hi guys! Hi! Look! Mother for cows! Hello, sweetheart! Hello! Everything is on, double checked. We have fuel, we're good. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else that needs to be switched on. We'll persevere, here we go. Yay! Whoop! Okay, here we go, the pump's on from the tank. We have water. Hmm, it's not a particularly good sprinkler though, is it? <laughs> okay. Ever have those nights you can't light a fire? It's so cold that I can't feel my hands or feet. And um, I can't, this is like my fourth attempt. I'm usually pretty good at making fires, but this one sucks. I'll throw a whole packet of fire lighters. Try again. Whole packet of fire lighters and every piece of cardboard and paper I can find. Little bits of timber, big piece of timber, kindling. Wait there.
kangaroos. I know, sweetheart. I thought it was the foxes. The foxes are out as well. Yes, Bruce just put away. Yes, I know. Why? Watch me burn myself. Some of our neighbours popped in this morning and um, it was we thought it was really really cold last night but apparently that's nothing it's gonna get a lot worse so uh, I hope my plants survive as supposed to they don't look like they're unhappy it's kind of like being in the fridge I guess what I've bought is these um, netting curtains from Ikea and they're brilliant really brilliant like they're on sale I think at the, I bought these for twelve dollars ninety nine a pair I might look like I don't know what I'm doing and that would pretty much be correct I can grow things my summer garden was pretty good um, as you can see here all my photos of our produce from summer um, and that was an impromptu garden we just moved in and I just planted them in time uh, we grew cucumbers carrots zucchinis um, what else did I grow um, oh, Asian greens and things like that I tried to grow kale but we really needed the net over the top to stop the white moths because they just kept eating it uh, so anyway I'm going to put the IKEA curtains up today So just get yourself a packet of cable ties, thread it through the net and around your conduit. Can't do it. And pull it nice and tight. Now, I know people, I, I encourage you to leave comments below, let me know of any handy hints you might have or things that you think may not work and that I need to change or do differently. I welcome everybody's comments. Uh, we'll see over the next three to four months what sort of transpires from my uh, wonderful mix of things that I've put in the soil. So, we were trying to figure out how we could conclude our, our vlog for this week. Mm -hmm. So, I think we'll tell you one of Sebastian's little stories. <laughs> so it's on sunset and um, we were over in the veggie patch and uh, Sebastian said, oh, you tell a story. Yeah, Sebastian comes over and says, Dad, he goes, uh, can I just speak to you for a minute? And I said, sure, mate. And he goes, now, I didn't want to scare the brothers or anything, but he said, I saw like these two big heads up on the hill on our property walking down <laughs> walking down toward the forest and I said like bobbleheads like he said bobbleheads like, and said he goes now they look like you know some sort of like people walking and I mm. said he said goes but he goes but their heads were like he said if was your head was this big dad he goes their heads were like this big he said no they weren't round like when someone's got a motorbike helmet on uh, he said they were like upside down eggy shape and and, and they the other went thing, up and down yeah they went up and down and the other thing he said was they would have been at least nine foot tall <laughs> but what he did say is that because i said to him oh what color were they like what, what did they look like but he couldn't tell because it was silhouetted against the sunset yeah. um but what he did say was that they were walking sideways so he could see profile but he said they had no nose um, yeah. and no mouth so we have some strange big bobble-headed creatures walking around in our bush tonight. That's right. Yippee. If you Google UFO sightings and Blue Mountains, a whole heap, a whole heap of stories come up. Like um, when you look out, out over the lookouts and into the valleys, could be very quiet, over the valleys and so on, so many people have had UFO sightings. We just don't know how to explain it, but let's just put all the the uh, do, do 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 behind us and just sort of think well there's some, somebody two people wandering down the bush with big heads <laughs> we have no idea but anyway yep. 
Maybe for another day. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next week we'll find out. But we'll make sure we have our camera handy just in case. Thanks for watching. Okay. Bye. 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 <laughs> Oh, that's the way I love you, baby. Stupid. He loves stupid women. <laughs> I love you acting silly. <laughs>